In WISE, you're able to edit sounds after they've been imported using the source editor. In this case, we have a gem recharge sound that's already been imported as a standard sound SFX object. First, you hear the sound of the wizard's staff whoosh through the air as he brings it back to recharge the gem, and then it's followed by the magical chime of the gem being recharged. Because both of these sounds are within the same audio file, we're going to use the source editor to separate these two sounds into separate objects. This will allow for more flexibility in how we can implement the sounds later in the production process. The first step is to copy the gem recharge sound SFX object. Right click the object and choose copy. And then select the default work unit within the actor mixer hierarchy right-click, and choose Paste. We have two objects, but it's important to understand that we haven't duplicated the audio file that they're both referencing. In fact, if we click each of the objects, we can see down in the Contents Editor that they're both referencing the same audio file. We'll rename the objects for how we intend to use them. We'll rename the first one Gem Recharge Woosh, and the next object we'll rename Gem Recharge Magic. We're now ready to use the source editor to edit these sounds so that only the part that we want is heard. We'll start with the magic sound. With the gem recharge magic object selected, we'll see in the contents editor the WAV file being referenced. Double click its icon and the source editor appears showing the waveform of the entire audio file. You can hear the magic sound happens at the end of the waveform, and that's the only part we want to hear for this object. Using the Trim Start icon, drag it over to where the magic sound begins. Now that we have the magic sound isolated, we can now move to the whoosh. You see that the Trim Start icon is all the way back at the beginning. This is because each object has its own unique trim start and trim end positions. In this case, we only want to hear the whoosh, so we can pull the trim end icon back to where only the whoosh part of the waveform can be heard. Because the whoosh sound also feels a little too long, we'll trim it so that it ends sooner than what was in the original file. Now the ending feels a little abrupt, so we can now use the fade out duration icon. Drag it to the left to create a nice smooth fade out. Now, you may have noticed that there's a portion of the waveform that's not being referenced by either object. We have the whoosh sound here on the left, and we have this magic on the right, leaving this middle part of the sound not being referenced by either object. That's okay. When we generate the sound bank, only the portions of the audio file that are being used will be built into the game, thus optimizing memory.